What's up guys, it's Venomized Gaming here, or Venom, and I just got back from, well, obviously I went to school today, and then I went, uh, I actually was supposed to have a dentist appointment, but I canceled that, and then I went to my mom's work, hung out there, went to fucking some grocery store or whatever with her, and now I'm finally home, so sorry for the late upload, this is actually being recorded at 7.36 right now, um, so... I don't know when this is gonna go up, hopefully by fucking 8, sorry about that pause, I had to like burp in it, I don't know, I, so I just paused the, the thing, but uh, like I was saying, um, actually like what I'm about to say is today is National Video Games Day, um, I don't know if this is some other fucking fake bullshit that someone made up in their fucking basement, but it's definitely something that has been fucking trending all day, so for, um, I guess, you know, for that, I'm going to just tell you guys about, I don't know, um, how I started playing video games. So, uh, yeah. So if you guys don't know, well, actually, you guys don't know any of this, but I started off on, actually, I mean, I guess technically when I first really got into games, like video games, heavily was Xbox, but I first started playing on PlayStation 1. Yeah, yeah, PlayStation 1. I remember I always used to play Spyro. My cousin used to live with me when I was younger. And I always used to play Spyro on his PlayStation 1. It was literally like my favorite fucking game. Um, then PlayStation 2 came around, and I don't know if you guys ever played this, but it was I think it was called like TAC, uh, like TAC 2 or something. I don't know, I'll probably put like a, um, I don't know, a fucking like, you know, a picture on the screen. But uh, yeah, those were, th that's really where I, I guess started, um, you know. I also played uh, Game Boys, Nintendo 64s. Uh, well, the, the, the Nintendo 64, GameCube, uh, just a bunch of shit, but what really, really got me into video games was Halo 2 on the original Xbox. Halo 2 was literally, like, my favorite fucking thing. Um, that's definitely, I mean, I played, I think my first actual, like, Xbox game that I played, um, was, uh, I think it was... Yeah, yeah, Splinter Cell something. I think Splinter Cell double... No, no, not double agent. I don't know. Something Splinter Cell. Um, but yeah, and then Halo 2. It just... It really, really put me onto video games. Like, after Halo 2, after playing all that, it, I was just fucking addicted, guys. Literally, I just... I always wanted to play. I didn't have the original Xbox. Um, my friend did. And every time I'd go over there, which was literally, like, every fucking weekend... Um, actually every weekend and every Monday I would go there. I would sleep over on the weekend and then Monday after school I would go there. Um, I, I think because, yeah, yeah, because I was always getting, um, I guess babysat in a way, whatever, um, by his, his parents. And we used to always just play Halo 4, I mean, uh, Halo 2 all the time. It was literally like our fucking life. I remember always fucking picking up the BR and just like, I don't know, just sitting there and just staring at it, just... I, oh my god, this is this is giving me such a, a nostalgic feeling it is just sitting there on the couch playing Halo 2 uh, Killing the fucking floods if you guys remember that um, I don't know if they have that in like the new Halos. I guess Halo 5 and Halo 4 um, In the campaign, but I just remember in Halo 2 they always were in the campaign After Halo 2 I actually kind of went back and I started to play Halo 1 because I never got to play it. My friend, uh, I actually ended up getting the original Xbox, um, you know, after seeing that my friend had it. And I started playing Halo 1 because my friend always told me that he didn't want me to play Halo 1 because it was complete trash or something like that. And I fucking fell in love with it. I think just the Halo series in general is literally just, it's, it's one of the best things that I've ever fucking played. Or just, I don't know, fucking laid eyes on. So from there, um, Xbox 360 came out, and I got that. I was on top of that, uh, you know, the second that shit came out. And then I think it was, yeah, yeah COD 4. COD 4 is what, uh, I know I said this about Halo, but, like, COD 4 really put me onto this stuff. Like, I think that's what truly got me addicted. Halo 2 was kind of like that game that just got me really interested in, uh, you know, in the whole entire fucking Xbox stuff. So COD 4 was literally like, that was the thing that I was just like, yo, this is, this is addicting. Like, I remember after getting my 360, I never went outside. As nerdy as it sounds, I never went outside. Like, I fucking, I would play every single fucking day. I fucking loved my Xbox 360. 
And COD 4 was actually not the first COD that I've ever played. Uh, the COD, I think, 2? Um, the big red one, that was the one that I first ever played and I did it. I, oh my god. <laughs> I know I've been saying this literally about every game, but I fucking, I just loved all the games uh, back then. I don't know, it was just something that just always made me look forward to fucking coming home and shit. So from COD 4, um, we kind of just, you know, I, I was just a casual player. Around, uh, I'd say like MW3, I started finding out about competitive and I... I didn't really know much about it. Um, I I'd, I'd say that it was maybe Black Ops One, maybe um, that I really started like following it and um, just fucking you know wanting to be at that level. And then obviously once all the newer CODs came out and competitive Call of Duty came out, I mean uh, gotten bigger and stuff. It just it made me love competitive Call of Duty. It made me want to do this one day. So I know that this really wasn't an interesting video, it really considered of me just saying, oh I love this, and I love that, and this is what really put me on to that, like I, and I know, it was pretty fucking boring, but I mean shit, it was National Fucking Video Games Day, whatever the fuck that is, if, if, if it's another fucking, I don't know, one of those cringy hashtags that people are using again, then I don't know, just, just fucking let me know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching so much, um, I don't, I don't know, lately I've just been feeling like, Obviously, I know 50 subs isn't a lot, but um, I don't know. Just thanks, thanks for uh, I guess giving me uh, giving me a shot. You know, not everyone goes to a, a smaller YouTuber's channel and say, you know what, I'm just gonna watch him. No, they usually base it off of your subscribers, and then they'll just click off. If they see one subscriber, they're gonna click off. If they see anything less than like fucking a hundred thousand, I feel like they're just gonna click off. So, like I was saying. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.